Well, a landmark figure coming out today and one that I really don't think voters are going to be very impressed with in terms of illegal migration. Now, let's just remember that it was back in April that Priti Patel, then the Home Secretary, announced this agreement with Rwanda. And of course, we've heard lots about it. Absolutely no sign whatsoever of that policy happening. I very much doubt you'll see that now happen in 2022 despite being announced back in April. And of course, that's after the ECHR's intervention, the European Court getting involved. We've now got a Home Secretary in Suella Braveman who's openly said it was the centrepiece of her leadership campaign. If we want to stop illegal migration, if we want to stop the boats, we need to leave the ECHR. No sign of the Home Secretary being able to actually implement that agenda of leaving the ECHR. And so you've got this situation now where for a number of years we've seen illegal migration increase. So it was 299 people in 2018, 1,843 people in 2019, 8,466 people in 2020. We know it was just over 28,000 people last year. And then so far for 2022 already, following a further 972 people coming across yesterday on 22 boats, this year's total now in terms of the number of crossings getting on for 41,000. So we've now gone past 40,000 people, according to the official figures, who have now come across from France to England on small boats. Now, of course, we've heard lots about a deal being done uh, with the French. Frankly, we've seen these deals been done before. Have they made much difference? I'm not convinced at all. And predictably, uh, you've got fury today from many Brexiteers. Rupert Loeb, for example, there saying 40,000 illegal crossings in the channel this year. It's a national humiliation that the Tories haven't got this under control. Nobody else to blame but themselves after so many years in government sought it out. And by the way, it looks like this is continuing today. You've got the GB News Kent producer there saying around 300 channel migrants have been taken to Dover Harbour so far on Sunday. So it's close to 1,000 people yesterday it looks like hundreds more today getting on for 41,000 people and this is a situation as I've repeatedly pointed out it's balmy frankly that it's been allowed to surge to this level when we've seen an increase year after year after year the government need to leave the ECHR they need to take the boats back to France they need to get a lot tougher I think with the French instead of just handing over more money and we see numbers increase year after year let me know what you make of those figures guys can Rishi Sunak, can the Conservatives still win back your support? What do you want to see the government do? As ever, I will keep bringing you all the very latest, so please do whack this video a quick thumbs up. And of course, as ever, cheers for watching.